Yo, what's poppin', ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die. We have little to no time to actually do this quest. So we're going to earn enough talking. We need to do this. So we're doing a nighttime quest. Obviously, as you guys know, since like two episodes ago, it's the exact same nighttime quest that we missed. We need to do this because I do not want to miss this guy again and have to wait a whole nother day. Hello, Miss Screamer. Goodbye, Miss Screamer. I do not want to have to wait a whole nother day. So we got until like one o'clock in the morning, I believe one. Yeah, it's one o'clock in the morning until we can't activate the nighttime quest anymore. Now, I'm not sure if like once it's activated, we're good to go or once it's activated, if it goes past one o'clock in the morning, we cannot complete the quest anymore. I'm not sure how that works, um, but either way, we need to get over here before one, which we got two hours to do so. So we should be good, should be good. So I'm gonna get on over here and I'm gonna activate it. Actually, we need to raid. Actually, can we raid? No, we already raided. I remember two episodes ago, we already raided it. So we just need to go over here and activate it. So yeah, once I get over here, I'll, I'll, I'll catch you guys later. Alrighty, we are here. Let's go ahead and activate this guy. We have to restore the power. With that being said, I still have no idea. So the power is up there. Is there a bird coming after us? E two of them, actually. We can just shoot them down. Like, we don't have to wait. Okay. I don't know what just happened, but I think we're good. But yeah, we could just shoot them down. We don't have to wait for them to, uh, to actually come to us. I'm pretty sure. Save a little bit of time. Aggro a little bit of zombies. Pretty sure a few zombies hurt that. But yeah, so the power that we have to restore is all the way at the top, which means we just got to get up there. Um, and the fastest way to do that that I found last time we raided this was just to build. It's, it's that simple. Just building. Hello. You're in my build zone, ma'am. So I'm going to just slice your head off because that's just what I do. All right. This should be a good building spot right here. And we'll probably have to do it again. No, 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 no we won't. No, we won't. Because the hole is right down there with some dogs. We aggro some dogs, bro, for sure. Not sure where they're at, though. That's the thing. They're destroying it, though. I could just hear a bunch of stuff breaking. I'd like to know where they are before I, like, you know, go down there because I don't want to die, obviously. They're walking. They're at this door. Hello. Help you guys out a little. Oh. Okay. I didn't think my pickaxe was just going to break down the, uh, the pickaxe, bro. I didn't think my pickaxe was just going to break it down. The thing does like 300 damage. That thing does like 220 damage to a block. That's nuts. I didn't think it was going to do that much damage. Are you live? You probably are. You are no longer alive. Okay, so there's a generator. Um, I guess we could just go ahead and complete the quest, right? Oh, we got to clear areas and we got three generators. There's three generators we have to restore. Okay, can I? There we go. So there's three generators we have to restore and we got to clear the area. We can definitely do that. I just don't know if like, if, if there's a time limit, you know? That's the only thing I'm scared of right now. So that's why I'm trying to rush just a little bit. Now, I also don't know where the other three generators are. I'm assuming there's one over there and there's one over there. Um, I'm gonna... Ooh, hello, you scared me a little bit. Dude, was a feral. It's nuts. I'm gonna keep the loot there. Because I want to complete this quest beforehand. That's what I want to do. I want to complete this quest before the time limit hits. Because I don't know what happens when the time limit hits. So just as a precaution, we just complete this quest. You don't have to break this down. I think that's massive damage. Look at this. A oh, hunt, bro. That's so much damage. Without this shotgun, we would be messed up. For real. Holy moly. That was crazy. Without this shotgun, man, we would definitely be messed up. Okay. Now, is there a... Is there a generator in here, though? Whew. That's a million dollar question. Is there a generator in here? gotta be it's 
got to be. Look how deep we are right now. There's got to be something in here. There it is. I knew there was going to be one in here. I knew it. How many zombies before I get my shotgun out? How many? Just one? Just one? Okay. Zombies are definitely going to come down here. We got to be prepared for this. It's going to break, obviously. But after this, we just got one more generator to do. Which is most definitely on the other side of the um, the other side of the movie theater for sure. I've never actually been down here. Every single time I came down here, the door was locked, and I was just like, you know what? It's too early in the game. I don't have enough. I don't have enough uh, big enough pickaxe to break that down. But this time I was ready. This time I was ready. I don't think I really passed any um any good loot like that. I go back the other way just in case we miss some loot. If there's gas in here, okay, we'll take that. We need more gas anyways. All right. Here, no loot. Oh, here's some. Some loot. Okay, we'll take that. Plastic barrel. Oh, whatever. All right, and the last one has definitely got to be over there. If I'm not mistaken, I think there's a way inside of this one, actually. It's either that one or this one. I'm, I'm going to put my bets on this, though. Last, I thought there was only bathrooms over here, though. Well, last time I was over here, there was just bathrooms. I know the door in here. Hmm. Um, let's go this way. Zombie. Yep, there we go. Two of them, surprisingly. How did I hit you? That's crazy. That's crazy. We're fine. Zombies. It's only one. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We gotta get a better machete. The machete's good, it just doesn't do enough damage, that's all. I'd rather use the bat in this situation, the bat does more damage. We don't have it on this though, so I mean, it's not what we can do about it really. If I had like a level 5 machete though, we'd be solid. Okay, you're gonna stay on that side. There it is, alright. All right, here we go. And then all we gotta do left is just clear out the areas and we should be good. And then the loot, of course. Gotta get the loot. I'm excited for that loot, for sure. And done. Now, I don't think that zombie counts as our area clearing, so we're just gonna ignore it. Bust through here. Take this out. We need it. I wonder if there's a way to open that garage door. Whoa. Oh, he's on the outside. I don't think there is. Can I break it? How, how big is it? Wow. Okay. Huh. All right. We'll just go around. I don't want to sit there and just break that all day. Wait, that actually works. I didn't think that would work, but it actually worked. There's a zombie in there now. I don't know. How y'all got in there, but I'm just gonna ignore you. No, I actually need to kill you. Yeah, I need to kill you. How did y'all get in there? I was quite literally just in there. I have no clue how y'all got in there. <laughs> I was just in there, right? That's scary almost. Oop. There we go. alive please die there we go all right there's still something we need to kill uh oh i know what it is they're in there they're in there you remember that door we opened last time last episode where was a bunch of zombies that just bombarded us that's gotta be where it's at gotta be gotta be how do we i'm gonna break this one down i broke the last one down I'm gonna do this one this time. Man, this new pickaxe is nice. That would have taken forever, almost. Last bit of zombies have to be in here. There's no way they're not. 
Zombies in here. No? Knew it. It's locked. I think this leads to outside. Yeah, just at least outside. That's least to there. Here we go. Okay, we still got clear areas. I don't want to loot just yet. I say that while looting. <laughs> Upstairs area, maybe? I'm thinking. No, because this is where the generator was. Yeah, so there's no zombies in there. We're missing them somewhere. Oh. Heard something hit. Any down here? No. Okay, I see them. You see the dots? So we basically got to go through all the dodge. That's a lot more zombies than I thought there was. This place has is crawling with zombies. Here we go. Some zombies in here. Any loot in here though? Doesn't really. I don't know. Doesn't really uh, look like the place there would be a lot of loot. And the rest of them, I think they were over here? There was a lot of them over here. I saw it was like four dots or something over here. That we just missed. They'll pop up eventually. Because the game will be like, hey, you haven't killed a zombie in a while. Let's, uh, let's help you out. <laughs> let's show you where they are. Uh... Gotta be one over there. Is it on the other side of this wall? I think it is. I don't know if you're a part of the quest, buddy. Don't think you are. I'm gonna kill you anyways, though. Just in case you are. I was already over here. I'm a little confused. I was already over here. But, uh, I mean... I did see the dots over here, though. I... Don't see zombies. Yeah, I don't see zombies. Hmm. I guess we can go ahead and loot until we find more dots. They'll pop up eventually. But, uh, I guess we could just go ahead and loot until then. Wait around a little bit. All right, let's see what we get. Large ammo pile first. Some shotgun ammo, mag ammo. All right, weapon bag. Oh, weighted head. Uh, for all melee tools, uh, weapons and tools, add a chance to stun and slow victims. Knives and machetes do not have a head that can be weighted. Okay, so this is mainly for like clubs and everything. Okay, so pretty cool. Medical supply kit. Ooh, that scared me. Scared me a little bit, you know? I ain't no, I ain't no punk. Just a little bit. It's a little scare. I'm gonna eat this just because I don't feel like deleting anything out of my inventory to make uh to make space. Oh, a crucible schematic? Pumpkin bread. I can't make a crucible. Can't cruise. Oh, we can make a crucible. Okay, never mind. We can make this. Um, sells for 150. I'm just gonna learn it because I don't feel like uh having it as an inventory space. Anvil schematic. We're gonna learn that just in case. Some oil. We just used up a lot of oil, so that's good. Some food. Might as well eat that. I'll keep all that. Do I have water on me? I don't have water on me. Wow. Um, there's water right there that I can drink. Um, might be some water in here too. Yeah. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. I think the last thing is this ammo crate, man. Should be the last thing, right? Leave soda. Dots still still didn't come up though. I want the dots to come up. All right. Let's do this. Let's see what we get out of it this time. It's got to be something good. I wonder where I can find more of these, though, like armored chest, hardened chest. This is the first one I've seen this entire series It's crazy. I have no clue where to find any others now, but I feel like the more we do nighttime quests or we get like upgrade the tier five quests, I think uh, I think the trader will take us 
uh, to harder areas to loot and everything, which would be awesome. Come on now. Come on now. I don't have that many lockpicks. I got lockpicks, but I ain't got that many lockpicks. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm not, I think I'm down to like 30. Yeah, 39. Need you to unlock, Mr. Sir. Thank you. I appreciate that. And... Okay, so we got a blueberry pie. Not bad. Go nuggets. Time charged. I don't really know what that's for. It got a bunch of ammo. Eh. Not that great. I guess. I'll keep everything, though. That I can carry. But, you know... Meh. I wonder if I can craft these. Look how much space is in here. I don't know how much space the, uh, the big storages give, but... Uh, that's got a lot, and it. it makes a cool sound, too. Let's see. Hardened. Nah, we can't, huh? Dang. Still pretty cool, though. All right, let's find these. Uh, I got to find the rest of these zombies. Because I, I want to turn this quest in, like, as soon as possible. All right, I'm going to look around a little bit, see if I can find them. Okay, that was crazy. That was nuts. Okay, so some dots showed up over there too. You see those dots at the top? So, okay, I opened the door and a bunch of zombies spawned out of nowhere, okay. Gave me a little bit of a mini heart attack there. Not nice, not nice at all. That was a little scary. Um, Get rid of that, I'll take the armor plating. I'll take the glue actually. I just, so much stuff in my inventory, I don't know what to get rid of. But at least we know where the other ones are now. Apparently, they're just right there. Apparently, which I thought we went to. Oh, they're inside of here. We can't get in here unless we we will have to break the. Uh, whoa, wait, wait. What? Oh, I guess that garage area is like its own little garage area. How do you even open them, though? Usually there's like a little button on the wall. That you could just use to uh, open it open it up. Oh well. We'll just break through here. We got a big boy pickaxe. This won't take long at all. Easy. Hello, ma'ams and sir. How are you guys doing? You're all asleep while I'm using a big pickaxe to break some brick. I don't understand how you sleep through that. Wake up! Wake up! Oh. There we go. And quest complete! And we got ourselves a nice little box. That was interesting though. There's a lot of areas in this that I didn't know I, I could... That I could go into for zombies and everything. Let's eat some stuff up. I need to. I do want that. What are these? It's real... real uh, just scrap you, I guess. I'm not really... I don't really know what to do with the relays and everything. Especially the repeating ones or like time relays, you know? I don't really mess with those. I just mess with the regular relays. Just set up like turrets and everything. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Trader Joe's. I'll see you guys then. Hopefully he's nice to us. Gives us another nighttime quest. Um, gives us a lot of money and something cool. That'd be lit. All right, we're here. We made it to Trader Joe's. How is your ah, bad, 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 bad. Level four stun baton or first aid kits. I don't even know. I feel like I should just take the first aid kits, but at the same time, I feel like I should just take the stun baton. I'm gonna take the stun baton. At the most, we could just sell it, right? If we need to. Um. Doo -doo -doo. I guess I can die my shock. I don't know. I'm gonna just die it. Let's do it. This is free of some space. All right, sir. Let's see what jobs you got. You got another night only. There's a restore power night only. We've got a clear zombies. I'm gonna take this clear zombies from 244 meters away. You the man. Just because it's close. It'll be quick and easy. It's nice that we keep getting these like nighttime quests back and back to back though. I think the nighttime quests give a lot of uh, experience and a lot of money and everything. Even though the, the loot hasn't been the best so far, I just really want to level up. You know, that's my main thing. I want to level up. Uh, one of these times we need to do like farming. I think day 19, day uh, 20, especially day 20. We need to do farming for that day 21 raid. Um, but until then, I just want to level up a lot or at least try to level up a lot. 
because I, I want to get my sniper little sesh rolling in and i want to get the deterrent sesh rolling in too so we need to level up at least one more time honestly do we even need this now that i think about it crowd quality for robots i mean the only reason why i say that is because i want to have both of these running at the exact same time that's the only reason why i say that but since this can just be like that and all you need is just ammo. I mean, do we really need to level up deterrent stuff? If not, then I could just focus on perception and get the uh, the assault rifle, the dead eye perk up and craft uh, better rifles and everything. I really could. I'd love to be able to craft level five rifles. I think that'd be amazing. Sharpshooter, we need perception level seven. I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that. I think, um, as long as we have like one or two SMG turrets up with the sledge, we'll be fine like this. I mean, it's nice to have it, but I, I'd rather have the SMG turrets. I think the SMG turrets are just way better. To be honest, I think they're just way better. Let's go ahead and put all of this away. Come on there. And then I, I honestly want to do this quest as well. So I'm going to put all this stuff up. Uh, and I'm gonna head over to that quest location. I'll see you guys then. All right, we made over to this location. What is that's a big house? Look at that thing. Oh, it's not a house. It's a butcher's, uh, butcher pettis. Hmm. Interesting. Butcher pettis. Definitely not saying that correctly. It's big, though. I think I've been in one of these before. If I'm not mistaken, there's bears on the top level. I might be mistaken, though. But in the case that I'm not mistaken, there's bears on the top level. Go ahead and... Ooh, I didn't even know you were right there. Go ahead and take everything out. Basket of... Okay, you made a big noise there. Um, uh, We're going to skip all the little baby loot. We don't need any of this baby loot, bro. We just need to go straight upstairs. Obviously, the big loot's upstairs. Yeah, the fucking demon shit up here, bro. Look at all this. Good amount of zombies. Now that I think about it a little bit more, maybe there's not bears upstairs. Thinking about it a little bit more. I think there's just a bit. Oh man, I thought this was the auger. I thought that was the auger, bro. Like the the like the in quite literally the best uh pickaxe in the game. The mechanical mining drill called the auger. That's what I thought that was. I was about to go, bro. I was about to go crazy. I was about to go crazy. Hello? Oh dog. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna die here. Holy crap. That scared me. Dang it, man. We're infected now. Dang it. I don't think we have anything to combat the infection either. I thought I had ammo. Oh man, I thought I had ammo. I saw I could have I could have oh we got boiled meat though. I could have handled that if I had uh if I just had bullets inside of my shotgun. I could have easily handled that. I don't know what happened. I have a few zombies joining us in a minute here. Essentially, if so, I'm just gonna close these doors. Just to slow them down. Cause I do want to unlock the gun safe. Which is gonna take a while. Man, I'm actually kind of sad about that. I do not want to be infected. I'm actually kind of sad about being infected right now. Because I could have I could have taken him out, too. He wasn't even that strong. Like, maybe, like, two or three shotgun shots. He would have been gone. And he was staggered on top of that. Like, I could have had that for sure. I don't know. I don't know what happened to my shotgun there. Steel spear, two at scope. Nothing crazy. All right. Yeah, I definitely do not recognize this area at all just two zombies okay is that all no it is not all righty that whew, that tells me a lot i wasn't expecting this yeah i'm not familiar with this um with this area at all which i'm not missing anything here all right, let's go ahead and go down the ladder of doom. See what this gives us. Loots, locked door. 
lot of zombies. Okay, not a lot of zombies, just five. Two big zombies, though. A lot of zombies around us. That's for sure. That door is locked. I think that's the way out, maybe. We gotta. Woo! All right, let's do this. Let's do this. A gun safe in this? I like this area. I like this a lot. Give it all to me, please. Okay, so we got the loot. We're breaking down the door. We're gonna be out of here. Um, There's a cougar outside. But we didn't really get too much crazy stuff. But we did get a lot of stuff, as you guys can see. You know what I mean? Uh, we got ourselves some armor. Oh! Got a van here. Ah, uh, some splint. I'm... Actually, I'm going to use this. Actually, okay, I can't. I can't. But yeah, that was awesome. We're definitely going to do that again, especially for this quest stuff. Heck yeah, we're probably going to deal with a lot of enemies in a minute here. Because they want to deal with us. They definitely want to deal with us. Um... We got eight minutes left on a steroid, so I'm going to go ahead and rush this area, and I'll see you guys uh, when I get back. I turn around from looking at my motorcycle, and there's a big cougar right there. He's not attacking me, but I'm going to attack it. That was needed. Very necessary. Very necessary. For my survival, extremely necessary. I'm, I'm going to drop off some of the stuff that's in here, because we need to. Hello. Goodbye. Should probably keep this. All right, that should be good enough. Just need I need a little bit of space before I go in here again. That's pretty much the only reason. But we know where the good loot is, so we can pretty much just skip a large majority of this. Hello. Oh, you already did. Demon stuff, which bunch of zombies. Whoa. Let me chop your head off. There we go. I blew his leg off. That's crazy. Do that. Alrighty. Let's keep it moving. Moving and grooving. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh yeah. Big boy in here. I mean you reload. Turn a corner. I don't even know what kind of zombie that is, which is crazy. Like I've never seen this type of zombie before, but he looks nutty. He looks nutty. That gives me a little bit scared, but a little bit more excited for higher level quests. Because I'm assuming I'm going to see him a lot. Right? I'm assuming I'm going to see him a lot more often. Because I don't even think he was a feral. I think that's just that type of zombie. He's just a strong zombie. Like, I don't even think he was a feral zombie. Because that happened two times in a row. That was back to back. Usually a feral zombie, if you get it on like the first time, and then you activate your quest, and you go to the exact same location, it's just a different zombie. Right. And it being feral is just like a chance. You know, it's not like a hundred percent chance, but that one back to back two times. Yeah, that's kind of I think that's just a zombie and not like we're going to scrap you for sure. I don't think that's like just a chance type of zombie. Hello. How'd you reach me? But I didn't reach you rigged. We go down here. There's a whole zombie down there. Man, <laughs> and then a bunch of zombies. Go. No fat zombies. All right. I took the shotgun now because I thought it was gonna be some big boys. Turns out it was just a bunch of small people. Going crazy. Nice, quick, simple, and easy. Let's get the loot. We still got some zombies to kill though, though. We still got some clear area to do, but uh, we're in the loot house, so none of that matters. None of that matters. We'll find them. We'll find them. They're probably outside or something. Oh, you know where they probably are? They're not um the first level. And I went up the stairs instead of going to the left of the bathroom. 
Last time I went to the bathroom, there was a zombie there. So there might still be a zombie there. So we'll definitely check that out as soon as this chest stops being mean to me. Still being mean to me. Oh, insta break. Insta break. All right. And you better have something good in you breaking all my lockpicks like this. You better have something good in you, my good sir. Come on. Let me see it. Thank you. Okay. Nah. Metal spikes, I guess. I guess. I don't know. Not really. Hmm. That's a meh. That's a very meh moment right there. Ammo pal, though. Ooh. I like that. I like that a lot. We're gonna have a lot of ammo for this uh for this raid for sure. We already got a lot of ammo. At least I think we have a lot. I haven't looked at all our ammo recently, but definitely feels like it. Hey! We can finally open you, which is awesome. I don't know why we couldn't open you last time. Kind of weird. Maybe because it wasn't a quest or something. I don't know. Uh, let's eat up since we're hungry. We're also thirsty. Do we have water? We don't. No water. All right, let's go back to that. Uh... Oh. Excuse me? Ex Excuse me? Excuse me? That was scary. Wow. Okay. That was really scary. Okay, I didn't see that the first time I came around. Wow. That was what was that? They disappeared now, but that was a, a feral army dude, a feral big dude. That was like three ferals and then one of those like freaking super zombies. In one area. Which is nuts. <sighs> I think that was just for this quest, though. Chemistry set. Yeah, I think that was just for the quest. Because there's not, there's no looting here. There's no looting here at all. Um, We could do that. And I could collect you. None that I can see. I think that just leads to outside, right? Yeah, that leads to outside. This door probably just leads to outside. Yeah, that was Wow. Wow, there's a big generator down here. Look at that generator. This is a huge generator. 10k. That that just speaks to me nighttime quest. That's what that tells me. That just tells me nighttime quest, crazy zombies and everything cuz this door was not open. This was not open. When I wasn't on the quest, as soon as I get to the quest, I'm able to open a door. And when that door opens, you look at the other one across the street as open. You're like, oh, this is a thing that's here. Let me uh, let me activate it. You go upstairs. Zombies. No weak zombies either. Big, strong zombies, bro. Strong boy zombies. That was that was I think that was like the strongest group of zombies I've faced thus far. There's no loot in there, which is unless I'm missing it, which is possible. But I didn't see any loot, at least. That's crazy. That is that was lit, though. Oh, you're dying from hydration. Oh, new. No. Uh, what's my health at 135? OK, I can't run anymore. So we're going to have to hurry up and get back home, which is pretty close by, to be fair. So I'm gonna do that real quick. 200 meters. Good thing we have the motorcycle right here. That was that that gets me a little bit scared for this nighttime quest. Like that was just a tier four, 200 meters away, little baby. You know what I mean? Like a little normal tier four quest. We got ourselves a nighttime quest coming up soon on day eight, day 18 of nighttime. Like, woo. 
It's a little, oh, a little scary there, man. A little scary. Ooh. I like it, though. I like it. Got me pumping, bro. I like it. All right, Mr. Trader Man. Ooh, sorry. I didn't mean to ram my motorcycle into your wall. Apologize for that. I'm encumbered. Dang it. I could take more steroids, but it'd be a waste here. What do you got for me, bro? A level six magnum. Bro, what? 106 range damage. The shotgun does 13 damage per pellet. And the pellets is 10. So this does 100. <clears throat> this does 130 damage. This does 106. Excuse me. This is 106. That's a magnum. Which is crazy. Holy crap. Oh man. That's nuts. Alright, we'll take the painkillers. No, 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 I'm joking. That's crazy though. Oh yes, we're gonna need you. The fact that we've never had a magnum before. This is our first magnum. And we have a bunch of ammo at home. Bro, what? So this hasn't changed at all, which is okay. Let's get our next job. We'll get the 650 meters. Clear zombies. That should be nice. What's a special job? Opening trade routes level two. Yeah, we're, we're not going to take that. We have 1300, uh, so we might be able to do two quests here, possibly, before nighttime hits. And then once nighttime hits, I think day 19, we're just going to focus on farming a bunch instead of uh, instead of questing. I think that's the I think that's the play. Then we focus up on farming resources, getting the getting all the ammunition for our turrets, maybe even crafting a second turret, potentially. But yeah, I want to do that versus um farm or doing quests but i appreciate you guys watching this episode thank you so much i'm gonna end it here make sure you guys tune into the next one i'll see you guys later peace